Hey guys, what's up? Roby here with a feature update video to explain something that's really awesome coming to not one, not two, but three of our flagship products at Divi Engine. This is exciting because we're going to be introducing a way to make your filters faster on your Divi websites that are utilizing our tools. So how do we do this? Well, that's through transient caching. So you might be asking yourself, what the heck is transient caching? And I'm here to tell you. Think of transient caching kind of as a temporary memory for your filters or database queries on your WordPress site. Now, instead of constantly going back and grabbing stuff from the database, it will actually cache queries that other users might have had that match yours. So if Bob searches for green, and you come to the website and you search for green, you're gonna get a faster result because that query that Bob did is saved as cache. Simple, right? Now, how do we enable that on our Divi website? That's not that hard to do. There's two, three ways to do that. Um, the first one is, is you can use memcached or Redis on your server side. Now that needs to be enabled by your host or if you've got a managed WordPress uh, host like Cloudways, it usually is activated by default. You can switch it on and off right there. So that's very easy to do. But if you do not, you can go ahead and add that with the WordPress object cache, which will go ahead and do it. It's a little bit slower than the other two options, but it's another option out there for you. Now, this is a great way that we're gonna be improving the speed of our filters, it is gonna make your customers happy Happy, it's going to make you happy. And we've done some tests where we can see upwards of five to 10 second performance increases on the delivery of the results when we're doing this with transient cache. And it's pretty amazing. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at how we do that on a Divi website using Divi Ajax filter right now. Right. So here we are on the back end of a Divi site that I have hosted on Cloudways. So remember when I said that if you're hosting with a managed uh, service like Cloudways, WP Engine, or one of the other ones, chances are is that you already have this enabled by default, but that doesn't mean that our filters are already gonna be taking advantage of that. So you need to make sure that it is enabled correctly. So let's take a look here. Now, when you install to the latest version of Divi Ajax filter, Divi Body Commerce, or Divi Machine, or plugins that utilize our Ajax filters, you're gonna see something new when you go to the Divi theme options. So to check this, you're gonna go to Divi, you're gonna go to theme options, and then you're gonna see this Divi engine tab right there in the Divi theme options. You can go right there, and now when you're here, you'll see that we actually already are kind of explaining to you what transient caching is, just because it's a fairly new feature, and then the ability to enable it. So all you gotta do is flip that bad boy on and save. Now you'll see here that there are two other things that you can do. You can define how long the transient caching is valid for. So when does it expire? And this is done in seconds. So 7,200 seconds is gonna be two hours. And then you can also flash all the cache. So I'm gonna start out by flushing the cache here. And there we go, that's done. And then I'm gonna switch this off and save that. Now I want to show you if you don't have, let's say Redis or Memcache active on your server, there'll actually be a notice that appears on your website that says, we haven't dis discovered any like caching modules on your server. We need you to enable WordPress object cache. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. And for that, I'm going to drag this code window in here. And this is just my wp-config.php file, which as many of you would already know, this is where you set a lot of the variables and features of your WordPress site. Now, when you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see here that I've already added this line right here. And all you gotta do is enable WP cache. Now, mine is currently disabled. It's set to false. So you just need to make sure that the line define WP cache true is on there to enable this for you. Now, um, we have this in the documentation too, so you can definitely check that out there. But I will also add this in the description of the video. But let's get busy. Let me quickly go and go to my pages here. And I want to take a look at how well this works. So I've got this caching test page right here. So I'll just go to the front end to view it. And here we go. I've got 400 products in my database here in all sorts of different categories and subcategories um, and all that fun stuff. Now, with the magic of video editing, my editor is going to put a little timer on here. So let's see how long it takes to filter something like clothing. thinking and clothing has been filtered. Okay, great. Now, 
that hasn't been cached yet, right? Because I haven't enabled the caching feature. So we can go ahead and reset this. And we can play around with that more on the wall, but I wanna, well, maybe let's just also just quickly filter here on a woman and see what that does. And there it goes. And then we can go further and say tops. That one went a little faster and you can see that it took a minute here. Okay, cool. Now let's reset that. Let's come back here to the caching settings. I'm gonna enable the transient caching. First, I'll flush it just to make sure that's nice and clean and then I'll save this page. Now transient caching is active. And if things are working correctly after I refresh my page, we should be able to get results relatively quickly. So we've got our 400 there. So now the first search, now remember this caches search terms. So queries to the database. And when one of those queries matches up with what a subsequent user or even yourself is searching, then it's gonna go ahead and instead of pulling it from the database, go ahead and pull it from the cache. So let's go say clothing. And we should see it takes about the same amount of time as the other one did. Still thinking, thinking, thinking. Still thinking. Man, okay. That's the first one. Not a surprise, we expected that to happen. So let's reset our filters again. And let me click on clothing again. And there you can see much faster. It's about more than half the amount of time that it took to do that the other way. So I'm gonna reset again. And now you'll see a byproduct here of having the transient caching is that the initial load is much faster too. Um, if I were to go, let's say expand clothing and let's click on woman now. Now woman of course is not something we've searched yet. So that has not been cached, right? So let's refresh that again. This is gonna load nice and fast again. If I go and filter woman again now, look how much faster that is. It's so much faster. Transient caching really is a game changer in the way that users are gonna interact with your site. It's gonna keep them engaged. It's nice and fast and a huge benefit to all Divi users that use our Ajax filters in any of our plugins. Okay, so we, we've kind of looked at what it does, right? Big whoopla, but this is actually a really big change in how the plugins work and how users will interact with your site. And that's that. That's transient caching for you in a nutshell. It's super easy to enable. It's available in Divi Ajax folder, Divi Body Commerce, and Divi Machine today. So update your plugins to get access to this and start delivering a better experience to your users. Now, this is just one of the first steps that we're taking in speeding up the Ajax filters. One of the next steps that we're looking at right now is creating completely different database tables to even further increase the speed of the filters. And this has been a huge request from our users and we are so excited to bring this to you now. Now, if you're not yet a Divi Ajax filter, Divi Machine or Divi Body Commerce user, definitely check out the links in the description. I definitely would appreciate any feedback on this video like, subscribe, comment, ask questions, and we'll be happy to answer them for you. But for now, this is Roby with the awesome feature update, and I'm gonna say goodbye for now, but I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video real soon. Thank you, bye for now.